This is the i9-11900K. This CPU is supposed to come out on March 30th, however a few people including myself have gotten their hands on it already. Since I got lucky enough to receive this, it would only make sense to release some benchmarks a little early. Now unfortunately I don't have any comparable CPU to put this up against. I had a 9900K, but I actually got rid of it before I received this chip, so for the most part I'm going to show the standalone numbers. I had to skip the integrated GPU even though I really wanted to test it since I couldn't find the drivers for it, so we might have to wait till launch to see how much better it is. Intel is claiming up to 50% improvement over last gen, so that'll be interesting to see. One of the main improvements of this gen are are the four extra PCIe lanes to the CPU, so I will include a test with a 980 Pro to check that out. I really wanted to do a full out review and go into the details, but I wouldn't have the time to do so because I know you guys want to see some results before launch day. So for this video, I will just include the benchmarks. However, if you would like to read my full thoughts and opinions, I will leave it in the description. Lastly, for the CPU benchmarks, I ran everything stock except for two things. I had the XMP profile enabled and also Intel's adaptive boost. Also, please take these results with a big grain of salt because even though this is clearly the final product, it still technically hasn't launched yet. So I'm not sure if there's going to be any BIOS, microcode updates or driver updates that could make any difference. On some benchmarks, I also compared the results with some reviewers online just to have some sort of visual representation, and I'll keep a link below for those as well. Since those are different systems, it's not an apples to apples comparison and the results will vary, which is something to keep in mind. Towards the end, I also include some wattage readings with and without the GPU and also some temp results with the Corsair H60 running on Ida64 for about an hour and a half or so. One last thing, I'm also going to be building a water cooled system in this small case, which I haven't even opened yet. So if you'd like, stay subscribed for that. So anyways, I'm going to post the benchmarks now. I hope they help out and let me know what you guys think about the results. I'd really like to hear. So um, enjoy.